in 1815. Her father was a lighthouse keeper. Lighthouses helped to steer ships away from the rocks. I loved living in a lighthouse. There's one room on each floor and a spiral staircase. Grace spent many hours of her time gazing out to sea. She could tell what weather was coming. It could be a warm breeze bringing birds from Africa or a dangerous storm. Grace could read the weather. As I walked along the immense sandy beach, I knew that a storm was brewing. Little did they know what life-changing events lay before them. On the 5th of September 1838, the SS Fortress set off from Hull, England to Dundee, Scotland. It carried 60 passengers and crew. At around 8pm, the sea grew restless. The rude wind roared around the rigging like a wild animal. At 11pm, the ship's boiler failed and the fall fisher lost all power and started to drift. At 4am, the ship hit Big Harkle Rock and broke in half. At 5am, Grace was due to finish her watch and go wake father. She felt something encourage her to take one more look. To her astonishment, she saw people clinging to Harkle Rock. Hurrying quickly down the spiral staircase, Grace ran to wake her sleeping father. Grace called out to her sleeping father. Father, father, wake up at once. Whatever is the matter, Grace? There are people clinging to Harker Walk. We must rescue them immediately. Grace's mother begged them not to go. However, Grace felt compelled to try and save them. Once we were in the boat, I knew we had done the right thing. Every wave seemed bigger than the last. We were a tiny boat in a raging sea. I thought about the people and not how cold my hands were or how the waves and rain stung my face. We managed to rescue the nine souls that night. Mrs. Darling made hot soup for all the survivors. What amazing soup this is. Yes, it is the best soup I have ever tasted. I looked at them eating soup and they felt thankful. Thankful that I had found the courage to go out in the storm. Thankful that we had been delivered back to shore safely. I felt like my life would always be connected to them. Grace became famous. Even Queen Victoria got to hear about her bravery and sent £50. Sadly, Grace developed tuberculosis and died in 1842 in her father's arms. Boy from England, you will know her name. The story is told.